Miss Kaitla has over 15 years of experience in designing and scaling efforts to increase women's economic participation in communities. She was invited by the U.S. Embassy in PNG to share ideas and assist women entrepreneurs grow their businesses. Um, so I am the Chief Operating Officer for We Connect International. It's a private sector-led NGO, so it's made up of 75 multinational corporations such as ExxonMobil, Intel, um, IBM, who are committed to buying from women, right? So they've created us for us to be able to go out, find women-owned businesses, and help build their capacity. In the two separate workshops conducted in Goroka and Port Mosby, Ms. Kaitla highlighted that most women entrepreneurs do not see their businesses as long-term and that affects the expansion of their businesses. This is not something you put together ad hoc, but that you really think about where you want to go with your business. Um, think big, you have to think big, really, um, and not just think about that one store, but maybe having five stores or ten stores, or not just the market in PNG, but maybe a market in Australia. From the one week of discussion, Ms. Kaitla coached women entrepreneurs on how to think through their business plans and to ensure their family understands those business plans. Women have really great ideas, right? Um, they know the community really well and they understand the market, right? So they have that local knowledge. Um, and um, the women also that are really willing to to start a business are very strong um, and they're very savvy and a lot of times they've dealt with a lot of challenges so I have found that they are very they're very bright um, and sometimes that what one of the challenges is is that they haven't had a very supportive environment. The training is organized by the U.S. Embassy and is to create more opportunities for women entrepreneurs access information to improve their economic participation. It, besides thinking big, is really know your numbers. So we walk through, in all of the workshops, we walk through, um, besides just the passion and knowing who the customer is, is the financials, right? So we talked about a balance sheet and an income statement and a cash flow statement. So the number one reason why businesses go under is actually um, not managing the cash flow properly. Right, so none of this again is rocket science, but if you know all your numbers and you know where your expenses are going and you're calculating, making sure the inventory is all correct, um, that you will be able to really measure and know how to grow your business to the next level. Thekla Gunga, National, MTV News.